Welcome to the oil draining training module prepared by California Controlled Atmosphere and Resource Compliance. In this training module, you will learn, through demonstration, how to safely drain oil from an oil pot. To begin, ensure to follow all facility safety rules and wear proper personal protective equipment or PPE. Commonly required PPE at ammonia refrigeration facilities may include the following. Safety vest, hard hat, hearing protection, safety glasses, personal ammonia monitor. Additional PPE will be necessary when performing oil draining activities. The additional PPE includes chemical resistant apron, chemical resistant gloves, full face air purifying respirator or a face shield with an APR. Always remember that the oil draining process must be performed using the buddy system. Having an extra set of hands during oil draining is helpful for performing the task and essential if an emergency situation occurs. Finally, ensure you are following the facility's line break procedure. Now we are going to start by demonstrating oil draining out of an oil pot. Step 1. Assemble the required equipment. If the room where oil is being drained is equipped with an exhaust ventilation system, turn the fan on. A plastic drum, pressurated hose with spring return valve on one end and heavy weight on the other, and any necessary wrenches must be available. Draining oil is a line break activity that must only be performed under the direct supervision of a qualified refrigeration technician. Ensure to follow the facility's line break procedure. Step 2. Close the drop leg oil drain isolation valve. Step 3. Wait and allow time for the liquid ammonia in the oil pot to evaporate. This may take several hours. The ice will melt when all the ammonia has evaporated. Step 4. Close the oil pot vent isolation valve. Step 5. Check the oil drain valve to make sure that it is closed tightly. Step 6. Slowly remove the oil drain valve pipe plug, being careful to note if there is any ammonia pressure behind it. The plug should feel loose. If it is tight or feels like it is cross-threaded, it may have ammonia pressure behind it. Step 7. If not permanently installed, connect a spring return valve and drain hose at the oil pot oil drain valve or an extension pipe. Use Teflon pipe thread tape to ensure a good seal. Step 8. Place the weighted drain hose or rigid pipe end in a plastic drum approximately 25% full of water. Position the drum a distance away from the oil drain valve. Step 9. Crack the system oil drain valve and open the spring return valve until oil starts to flow. Step 10. Continuously monitor the flow of oil. Open the system oil drain valve more if necessary. Watch for the appearance of ammonia. It can be heard spitting or popping and observed by the line getting cold or icing up. Step 12. When ammonia gas or liquid is present in the bucket, shut the spring return valve. The presence of ammonia does not necessarily mean that all the oil is drained out. 
Steps 9 to 11 may need to be repeated several times. Step 13. Wait and let the residual ammonia in the line be absorbed into the water in the plastic drum. Step 14. Close the oil drain valve. Step 15. Disconnect the hose or rigid pipe from the oil drain valve. Drain any hose contents into the plastic drum. Step 16. Disconnect the spring return valve if applicable and reinstall the pipe plug in the oil drain valve. Use Teflon pipe thread tape to ensure a good seal. Step 17. Open the vent line isolation valve. Step 18. Open the drop blade isolation valve. This concludes the oil draining procedure. Upon conclusion of this procedure, the oil pot is back in normal operation.